Welcome to the Daily 11 at 7. Number eight, Florida prosecutors are seeking a new trial for the man charged with murdering 17-year-old Jordan Davis of Marietta over loud music. A jury convicted Michael Dunn Saturday on three lesser charges in the case, but then deadlocked on the first-degree murder charge. I thought it was injustice. It wasn't fair to him or the family. Gut-wrenching. Um, almost like living a bad nightmare again, all over again, just to see the loss of life. It's horrible. Dunn claimed that he feared for his life and fired in self-defense. The jury's verdict over the weekend has certainly incited charges of racism, injustice, and ignited the controversial debate over the Stand Your Ground law. So joining me now is John Monroe from GeorgiaCarry.org, an advocate for gun rights, and Robert Patillo with the Rainbow Push Coalition, an organization that filed a federal lawsuit actually challenging Georgia's Stand Your Ground law. Gentlemen, thank you both for being here. So I start with the question, how does a jury find Dunn guilty of attempted murder, but not guilty on first degree murder charges? I mean, you would think that if they thought that he did not act in self-defense when shooting at the car and at Davis's friends, that then he did not uh, act in self-defense when it came to shooting uh, uh, Jordan Davis. So how did they come up with that decision? I'll start with you. Well, Brenda, I think it was an absurd ruling. I think it's very clear that the vagueness of the stand your ground law and other self-defense laws both in Florida and here in Georgia resulted in what we all know to be an unjust verdict and this is why the state's attorney for Florida is retrying the case it's absolutely crucial to have a first-degree murder conviction on this case anything else defies logic defies law and defies justice Mr. in this Monroe? case well I, I disagree that it was an unjust verdict it, you know it's entirely possible and in fact likely that the jury was deadlocked because they couldn't decide if it was first degree murder or second degree murder or manslaughter. We don't know that they that there were some jurors that wanted is, to is acquit. Is this a stand your ground issue truly? And, and what do you think about the stand your ground law in general? I mean, is it too easily misapplied? This isn't a stand your ground case at all. It wasn't part of the case. The defense didn't raise it. Um, it just is a, it's a plain old self-defense But it certainly case. has ignited that, that <clears throat> controversial debate all over again. Well, people try to uh, equate self-defense with stand your ground. They're not the same thing. They, they're they related, but they're completely different from each other. All right, Mr. Patillo. Yeah, this is the ridi ridiculous argument that we hear from gun rights activists all the time. It's absolutely a stand your ground case. Under traditional self-defense, an individual has a duty to retreat prior to using deadly force. In this case, he offensively confronted these individuals and then shot into the car prior to being... Uh, prior to having any provocation. It's absolutely a stand your ground case. The duty to retreat was it, the duty to retreat was removed statutorily by the stand your ground laws in 26 states around the country. That's why we're fighting here in Georgia to repeal the laws both in the legislature and through the court system. Should this uh, should prosecutors retry? They have for, they have to retry the, they have to retry the case is absolutely crucial. The having the divergent verdicts makes this case right for appeal. Uh, if done appeals and goes and is somehow acquit or somehow has the verdict changed at his new trial or on appeal, then you need the first degree murder conviction in order for him to serve time. To retry, though, is costly for taxpayers. So I'll end with you, Mr. Monroe. Should, should the case be retried? That's up to the state. They've already indicated What's they're going opinion? to. Um, you know, I, they're already looking at getting 60 years. I don't know what more they're, they're seeking, but if they want to retry him, it's certainly within their right. All right, John Monroe, Robert Patillo, again, thank you very much. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you.